Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to another day of learning with Mrs. Sorrell. We're continuing our conversation and our learning about bugs, all kind of insects. Today, we're going to be talking about the dragonfly. The dragonfly. Yep, that's what we're going to be talking about today. The dragonfly is a really interesting insect, and you'll find out why in just a few moments. First, we're going to read our daily message. I'll read, you read, okay? Today is Thursday, April 23rd, 2020. It is a cloudy day. It's another cloudy day today. Our wonderful word of the week, Franny standing by to point it out to you, is entomology. Say that with me, entomology. Entomology is the scientific study of insects. That's what entomology means. The person who studies insects or the scientist who studies insects is called an entomologist, an entomologist. This is a picture of a woman entomologist. Yes, girls, you can be whatever you want to be, pick whatever job that you would like to have. This lady chose to be an entomologist. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Bugs, 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 specifically the dragonfly. Speaking of the dragonfly, let me show you his picture. This is a dragonfly. You see that long tail? How many wings does a dragonfly have? I think I was showing it to you upside down. How many wings does a dragonfly have? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Four wings. The interesting thing about the dragonfly is that it is a fancy flyer. Dragonflies, they can fly like this. They can also do loop-de-loops. And believe it or not, dragonflies can even fly backwards. They sure can. They can fly backwards. So we're going to sing a song about a dragonfly. But before we sing this song about the dragonfly, I have a question for you. How are you feeling today? How do you feel? Are you for some reason feeling angry or scared or sad, happy, frustrated, anxious, disappointed, or calm? How are you feeling today? The reason why we disengage our stress response every morning is for this specific reason. Some people may not feel calm. Some may not feel happy. Some may be angry or frustrated or scared or anxious or sad or disappointed. And disengaging our stress response helps us to feel happy and calm. So that's why we do it every morning. That's why we take our three deep breaths and we pretend to be different things or we smile, take a deep breath and we star or we drain. Today, boys and girls, let's do the drain. If you're feeling sad or scared or frustrated or anxious or disappointed, draining will help all those negative feelings go away. So let's try that. Remember when we drain, we're pretending like we are a faucet and we're tightening up 
everything in our body, our shoulders, our feet, our toes, our hands, our legs, our fists, everything is tight, tight, tight. Even your belly, you're sucking your belly in as far as you can and you're holding it. Everything is so tight, tight, tight. Pretend that's all your stress and your worries and your fears and your anxiety. It's all holding there and you're gonna let it go down the drain. You ready? Let's let it go. Let's do it again. Tighten everything up. One more time. By now, I certainly hope that you are feeling happy or at least calm. And if not, boys and girls, maybe by singing this silly song about the dragonfly will help you relax a little bit more. Are you ready? Remember, I told you that the dragonfly is a very fancy flyer. The dragonfly can fly like this. The dragonfly could do like this, loop-de-loops. And the dragonfly can even fly backwards. You ready to sing it? It goes to the tune of the wheels on the bus. The dragonfly, it flies like this, flies like this, flies like this. The dragonfly, it flies like this all around my yard. The dragonfly, it flies like this, flies like this, flies like this. The dragonfly, it flies like this all around my yard. The dragonfly, it flies like this, flies like this, flies like this, the dragonfly, it flies like this all around my yard. That was a fun song, wasn't it? When I say the word dragonfly, dragonfly, we hear the d sound at the beginning of dragonfly. Dragonfly. Would you like to take a look and see what's inside my vegetable soup here? My alphabet soup? Everything in here begins with the sound that D makes. D sounds like D. D sounds like D. This is what the word dragonfly looks like. Dragonfly. Dragonfly begins with the letter D. My sentence says, dragonfly begins with D. You'll notice I have a period at the end there because that's where I stop reading. And I have a capital letter at the beginning of this sentence because it is a sentence. Dragonfly begins with D. This is the uppercase D. This is the lowercase D. So we're going to find out a few things that begins with the sound that D makes. We're going to practice writing the letter D in the air. And then we're going to have a little poem with lots of words that begins with the sound that D makes, our alliteration poem. Are you ready? I'm sure you are. All righty, so here is the uppercase D, letter D. And here is the lowercase D uppercase D, lowercase D. Sometimes we say capital D. Sometimes we say small D. Letter D. D, D. All right, so let's find out what's in our soup. Will you say this with me? 
D is for duck swimming in her pond. D is for dragonfly buzzing on the lawn. D is for duck swimming in her pond. D is for dragonfly buzzing on the lawn. What do you suppose was in this can? Think a dragonfly was in here? Maybe a duck? You think that little poem I just read is a clue? Let's find out. Oh, let's look at these pictures. Things that begin with the letter D and sounds like D. This is a pair of dice. Dice. We play games in our classroom with dice. Here is the word dice. Dice begins with the letter D. Let's spell it. D I C E. Dice. There's that dragonfly. You guessed it, didn't you? You're so smart. Dragonfly. And we already know that dragonfly begins with the letter D. D R A G O N F L Y spells dragonfly. What do you suppose is next? Quack, 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 quack. D is for duck. D, D, duck. Here is the word duck. D U C K, duck. D is for something yummy to eat. Donut, donut. D is for donut. Here is the word donut. Donut is spelled D O U G H N U T. Donut, donut. D is for man's best friend, or so they say, dog. D is for dog. D is for dog. And this is how we spell dog. D-O-G, dog. Did you guess some of those words? I'm sure you did because you're so, so smart. All right, get ready to sing it with me. D is for donut, d, d, donut. D is for duck, d, d, duck. D is for dragonfly, d, d, dragonfly. D is for dice, d, d, dice. D is for dog, d, d, dog. Now you know what D sounds like. Now you know what D sounds like. Good job, boys and girls. So we'll be back today learning more about insects. In our Google Classroom, there is a link to a wonderful resource page. It's Scholastic's Big World. And on that page, you'll find out so much about insects. Oh, you'll find out about dragonflies, fireflies, butterflies, caterpillars. You'll find out more about bees and the honey they make, how they make it. Oh, wonderful, 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 exciting things are waiting for you on that page. There are puzzles to manipulate. There are math problems to solve. There are stories to listen to. There are songs to listen to. There's even something that you can dance to. 
as we continue to learn all about insects today. So I'm looking forward to interacting with you, to talking with you, and to seeing your work in our classroom today. Until next time, boys and girls. Mwah. Whoops, what did we forget to do? We forgot to wish each other well, didn't we? I told you a long time ago that teachers make mistakes too. I almost ended the video without wishing you well. So let's do that. We're going to wish Anthony Butler well, Anthony Williams, Ariana, Ariane, Bailey, Britton, David, Dalen, that's Dalen Brown, Dalen Bolden, Fabian, George, Jason, Jaden, Jocelyn, Kalia, Kylie, Taylor, Tristan, Tyrone, and Yehoshaphat. Oh, I wish you well today. I wish you well, and I wish that I could see you today. I wish you have fun learning today. I wish great things for you. I wish you well. We wish you well. We wish you well. All through the day today, we wish you well. We wish you well. We wish you well all through the day today. We wish you well. Wishing you well, boys and girls. Hope to see your beautiful face today. All right, see you later.